Hi everyone, my name is Khaleesi and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Today I am bringing you once again an apartment renovation and uh, it's one that I had a lot of fun building. I know from the thumbnail it doesn't look like the most appealing apartment build on this channel because honestly I struggle a lot with taking screenshots of my apartments. I just can't get them like I can't get the frame positioned right. The coloring goes all funny when I like, you know, put a PSD on it or something like that. It just, my apartments don't look great in the screenshots sometimes. And this apartment is definitely a victim of looking like utter garbage uh, based off the thumbnail. So if you clicked on this video anyway, and if you're watching this video anyway, really appreciate you. Thank you for not judging this book by its cover. <laughs> it's not a book, it's an apartment, but you know what I mean. You've you've heard that phrase. That phrase with a th, by the way. It's uh, 2021. I can say what I want. I'm making up words now. Um, yeah, you know what that phrase is. You know what I mean. Thanks for watching this video, regardless of how crappy the thumbnail looks. But anyway, I did my best. <laughs> I worked with what I had, which was, you know, what you see or what you saw prior to clicking on this video. Uh, it's the best I could possibly make it, but I don't know. I'm low-key stressed because I know the thumbnail is like one of the most important things about a YouTube video because the thumbnail is what pulls people in to watch your video. And I just don't think this thumbnail looks nice. This apartment doesn't look that good from the thumbnail. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it because you're here. You're watching this video. Obviously, you don't care about the thumbnail. So let's talk about the apartment. <laughs> Let's just ignore that entire ramble and go on to talking about the apartment. So, um, this is in Evansdale County. I don't think I mentioned where I built, uh, the house in my last video, but I like to mention where I'm, like, building and decorating and stuff like that. This is in Evansdale County, which is a custom world. It's one of my favorite custom worlds ever, apart from St. Clair. Uh, and yeah, this is actually an apartment that I've renovated before. Uh, back on my old old channel but I think I did it a lot better this time around and obviously that's because the first time I did it it was 2016 so um you know I was a baby <laughs> I wasn't a baby I was like uh oh my god I don't even know how old I am I'm 25 how old was I in 2016 uh 21 was I 21 in 2016 I turned 21 in 2016 did I? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I was 21. Anyway, that really doesn't matter. I'm turning 26 this year. I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like that at all. But anyway, I've already gone so off topic with that, with this commentary. Let me just backtrack a little bit and go back to talking about the apartment. Uh, once again, I used a color palette from a color palette website. And uh, as I'm sure you can tell, the main colors in this color palette were pink, black, the color that's on the wall, and yellow. And I don't know, it was like, I don't know what it was about this color palette that drew me into it, but uh, I really liked it. I knew I was going to struggle with it a little bit. Uh, and I did. I did have a little bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. But I don't know, I feel like it turned out really cute. It's like an interesting combination of colors and not a combination that I would usually go for. But um, no, I'm really glad I picked this one. I think this is uh, this is super cute and I would definitely use this color palette again. Maybe not in the same way. Maybe at a... I was gonna sort of... Okay, I'm like, I've got so many things to say that I'm just like tripping over all of the things that I wanna say and I'm having a hard time. Uh, I was gonna have like the more neutral colors as like the furniture colors and then the uh, the pinks and the yellows and everything were gonna be like on the walls and on the rugs and all that good stuff but um I sort of decided to not do that and instead have the uh, have the like dark color on the wall and have the the pink and the yellow and like other pieces in the house so like the furniture and stuff like that I would probably redo this color palette but like do it the other way around how I was initially planning on doing it when I first saw this color palette I don't even know if anything I said makes any sense because oh my eye hurts and I know that sounds like such a stupid excuse for not knowing what to say but boy I have been suffering all day I can't take it anymore I can't my brain's not working because my eye hurts <laughs> I've had this really weird pain I don't know how to describe it 
I think it's because I'm tired and I'm not sleeping properly, but uh, it sort of feels like a sty, but like it's in my pupil and there's nothing there. Like my, all around my eye, it's totally clear. It's not red. There's no like lump or anything like that. There's no sty, but it feels like I have a sty and it feels like it's in the middle of my pupil and it's, oh my God, it hurts so bad. So, so bad. Um, I can't concentrate on what I'm doing because my eye hurts. <laughs> Does anybody ever experience this? Because I've been rubbing it all day, trying to like just feel something and it just, oh, it's so painful. <laughs> so, so painful. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to backtrack because once again, I am rambling about literally nothing. Uh, back to the apartment. Okay, so it's a two bedroom apartment. I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, I was initially going to make it three bedrooms. There's two bathrooms in this apartment, which I think is a little bit extreme. I don't think this apartment needs two bathrooms. And yeah, I was going to make the bathroom, not the one that you can see in the corner of the screen here, but the bathroom behind it. I was going to make that another bedroom. And then I realized that actually I can't make that a bedroom because it's not legally a bedroom because it has no windows. So... Usually I don't care about that kind of thing with The Sims, but I cared about it in this build because, I don't know, it just... I can't decorate a bedroom that doesn't have any windows in it, that isn't letting any natural light in it. It feels wrong. It is wrong. It's illegal. <laughs> like, it's not legally a bedroom if there's no windows, uh, but yeah. Two bathrooms, definitely not necessary for this apartment. If you want to, like take one of the bathrooms and do something else with it then by all means do so uh yeah i just thought it was kind of weird but it was sort of what i had to work with with this floor plan i think the rest of the apartment is like cute enough to make up for it though hopefully you agree fingers crossed but uh yeah we're working on a little laundry section now which i think is such a cute little part of the apartment uh i've got some custom laundry pieces in this little area i was actually also initially going to make the bathroom to the left a laundry and then i was like i don't want a dedicated room for a laundry i feel like it's kind of cute to just have a little section at the end of the hallway here so uh that's what i did for the laundry uh i sort of envisioned like two friends living in this apartment like flatmates and i don't know i feel like in a flatmatey apartment scenario you know you have a little tiny laundry section right <laughs> i don't think okay listen tenancy situations have absolutely nothing to do with like layouts of apartments i get that i'm talking out of my ass again my eye hurts it's affecting my brain somehow whatever um i just thought it was a really cute touch and uh i love all the custom content that i used around the laundry section i love the little ironing board that i used i actually forgot that i had that in my game I think the coat rack is really cute and I don't know I might do uh laundries more often because I'm really really happy with how that little section turned out and you just watch me speed through the one of the bathrooms uh I prefer that bathroom over the bigger bathroom purely because it's smaller and I uh I very much prefer smaller spaces because I can clutter them up a little bit better and uh yeah, I don't know. Big bathrooms just look yuck to me. I I don't know how people do big bathrooms. Some people can make them look really nice. Like, don't get me wrong. If you build big bathrooms yourself and you're really good at it, like, hats off to you. But I have no idea how you do it and I can't do it myself. <laughs> so uh, I'm just not even going to bother trying. Okay. The, uh, the bigger bathroom in this apartment is sort of like, I don't know. It looks good, but it doesn't look as good as the smaller bathroom, you know? But you'll see that later on. Uh, we're working on the living space right now, which is actually laid out exactly how the living space was the first time I renovated this apartment because I was a little bit stuck for what to do with the floor plan or like with the floor plan in this apartment. So uh, I took some inspiration from my 21 year old self and uh, literally copied it. <laughs> it's not copying if it's like taken from yourself, is it? No. Uh, but yeah, use the exact same little living room floor plan for the living area. Living, 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 living. I use the same words a lot in my commentaries. It's really bad. Uh, by the way, this little section here doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, if you light that fire, you are probably going to kill yourself. 
Uh, not the best place for a fireplace, but I really wanted to include one in this apartment anyway because... I don't know, I like adding fireplaces to my apartments and I know they make no sense because like... They just don't. Like, apartments just don't have fireplaces really, do they? Because of chimneys and stuff like that. You have to have a chimney for a fireplace and especially where the fireplace is placed in this room, it just literally makes no sense logically. I I, there just shouldn't be a fireplace there but I really like adding them because I think they just fill up a room really nicely and they're just a, they're a pretty little touch we can pretend it's one of those uh electric fireplaces you know that you don't need a chimney for it's a very realistic electric fireplace but it's an electric fireplace all the same okay <laughs> yes it looks like it's real fire yes your sims are actually burning to death as though it's real fire but it's electric so Yep, anyway, I just smacked myself in the air, so if you heard that, I apologize. All right, uh, we're working on my favorite bedroom in the house uh, right now. In the apartment, sorry. I've used this little blanket rack three times in this build. I'm so sorry. I, I do this thing where I discover a piece of like build by content that I really, really love, and I just, I overuse it like to the point where I use it three times in a single build. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my current obsession is that little blanket rack. I like that you can kind of uh, have it look like a towel rack as well. You can have it in a bedroom and say it's blankets. You can have it in a bathroom and say it's towels. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's versatile. And uh, what's bad about versatility? Is that a word? Is that a word? I don't know. I dropped out of high school uh, a year early. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I just snorted. Oh my god, that's so bad. Um, yeah, this bathroom, bedroom, sorry, is definitely my preferred one out of the two in this apartment. I think I put more detail into it. Uh, I didn't get like... I was gonna say I got a little bit lazy with the second bedroom, but I don't think it's necessarily that I got a little bit lazy. I think it's just that I wanted the bedrooms to be similar, but I didn't want them to be, like, too similar. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to... I used the same pieces of furniture in the second bedroom, but I didn't want to use all the same pieces of clutter. So uh, I used very little clutter in the second bedroom. And I think that's why I prefer the first bedroom, like the one that we're working on right now, because, uh, yeah, I am a slutter for clutter. <laughs> Oh my god, is that a new phrase? I'm a slutter for clutter. I don't know. I just... I really love the way clutter looks in The Sims 3. I know I talk about this constantly. I don't like how much time it adds to uh, my decorating. <laughs> I don't like that it uh, has quite often left me with 30 minute commentaries to do. Because I struggle to talk for even 15 minutes. And uh, 30 minutes is double that. So yeah. I don't like how time consuming it is, but I do think it's worth it in the end. Uh, it's worth the long commentaries that I struggle my way through. It's worth uh, all the annoying clicking, just trying to get everything in its perfect place. It's worth all of that, you know? The end result is worth it. It's just, it's beautiful. I love clutter so, so much, but you've heard me go on about how much I love clutter so many times now. I'm just gonna pull myself back and shut up, I think. Uh, but yeah, here's the, uh, here's the bathroom that I'm not as big a fan of. Again, I've used the same pieces of furniture. Maybe it was a little bit out of laziness. I don't know. I just wanted to have them kind of... I wanted the bathrooms to match, but sort of be inverted. And I wanted the bedrooms to match, but sort of be inverted. At the time, it wasn't out of laziness, but maybe... Now that I'm looking back on it, maybe it was. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I don't think it was necessarily laziness because this is how I wanted it to be, you know? Like, I went in to this bathroom and I went into this bedroom that we're currently working on knowing that that was what I wanted. No, it wasn't laziness. It was just what I wanted to do. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty much the same. I wanted everything to tie in together because I was decorating this to a particular color palette. Uh, and yeah, the best way I knew how to do that was literally invert the colors. <laughs> so the desk was pink in the first bedroom and the chair was yellow. And in this bedroom, the desk is yellow and the chair is pink. Easy. 
Same color palette, different colors. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you have some other color palette suggestions that you'd like to see me put into builds or something like that. Uh, I really like using color palettes. I like putting them in my game. Like I like, you know, putting the hex code into my game and saving the color in my little misc color palette thing. I really like doing that. And it's, uh, I think it's a nice way to, you know, to decorate so yeah if you see any color palettes online that you think are really pretty and you would like to see me try to come up with something with it uh do feel free to leave those in the comment section down below i would love to see i don't even remember the name of the color palette website i've been using at the moment it's not pinterest it's like a specific color palette website uh i don't know what it is but like there's so many color palettes you can sort it by like cool color palettes Warm color palettes, autumnal color palettes, spring colored palettes, pastel color palettes. It's like, it's such a good website for this kind of thing. If you struggle for like color schemes in The Sims, you should go for a color palette because boy, they are handy. But anyway, we've jumped into some screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my commentary up right here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. The download link will be in the description if you want to put this in your own game. And uh, yeah. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and of course I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!